We have our Citrus TV reporter Katie Lane there right now. Now, Katie, what can you tell us? Thank you guys. I am in the Barnes Center where the student sit in protest is still taking place. They are protesting the vandalism that happened in Denver. It's pretty packed in here. And Blankets students are demanding as signs of an overnight occupation. Games like Jenga brought in to help pass the time. Students planning out their next move, waiting for the university to respond to their demands. The written statement that we are demanding of this administration will include a timeline curated by the administration that clearly defines when each solution proposed will be implemented. Additionally, the statement should include a detailed exec execution plan to meet each demand. We expect this written statement to be public. On day one of the protests, they handed a list of demands to Chancellor Severud. So I, I will read them and I take it the whole team will respond to them as promptly as possible. Later that day, Vice President of the Student Experience, Robert Hradsky, sat down with protesters to continue the dialogue. I got a quick question. Uh, do the Board of Trustees know about this incident? Uh, the answer is yes. We were in contact with the entire board to make them aware of it. An email from the Chancellor also went out to the student body, saying in part that the administration will work with the students to address the issues raised. Now protesters have formed committees to organize their next steps revisions to the original list of demands being made, post-it notes allowing students to add their feedback to the demands posted on the walls. Once these demands have been met, our protests will cease. Until then, our protests will proceed indefinitely. Now, we apologize for some technical difficulties there. I do have some details about what Katie was looking to try to fill us in on before we had those difficulties. She was saying that around 70 to 100 people stayed in the barns overnight last night and that they've added some new demands to their list. They're demanding actions including expelling any student involved in the hate crimes, revising the current anti-harassment policy, and offering a same-race option for roommate selection. Yes, and a GoFundMe has actually been created to raise money for the protesters. I believe they're at over three thousand dollars three thousand six hundred forty two of their four thousand dollar goal for the moment those links have been shared across multiple social media platforms the sit-in will continue until wednesday november 20th is what they had originally planned now we are hearing that they will have to leave overnight so at 1 a.m when the center closes until it opens in the morning they will no longer be allowed to stay at the barn center but we do believe at this moment that they will continue during the opening opened hours of the barn center to continue this protest until their deadline for the demands indeed are and citrus met. tv will keep will continue to keep you updated on the protest in response to the racist graffiti